What's up, everybody? I am Lockouts, and we are going to go over hot fixes for World of Warcraft in patch 8.3. These are patch notes for March 2nd, 2020. Check this out. All right, everybody, welcome back. We are just going to jump right into this, and we're just going to read off the uh, hot fixes in the patch notes. It's here for March 2nd and 2020. Um, the hot fixes are ones for hunters, um, the class changes, I guess, or balancing. I don't know really what it is, but anyways, hunters can again, tame juggernaut pets, um, within the siege of Orijamar raid instance. So hunters, if you wanted to tame those pets, you can again, tame those pets. <laughs> Dungeons and raids, um, prophet Skitra. With regional restarts, she now has two intermission phases. It was four, so they have nerfed that. And it used to be every 33, 66, or it's now at 33 and 66% health. It used to be 20, 40, 60, 80, etc. Um, and then dark rituals debuff effect now increases by 4% per stack. It was 2% per stack on all difficulties. So that's a nice buff that's a hundred percent increase in um yeah per stack so it's it's effectively doubled uh developers notes it says especially as raids overall damage output increases uh many groups are spending a disappropriate amount of time dealing with skitra's illusions and often skipping other mechanics entirely this change is aimed at making the overall pace of the fight more consistent regardless of the raid damage. So they're just trying to do a little bit more balancing by changing up some of the mechanics that are with Skitra. Uh, with Raid Den, um, Void Collapse cast time is increased to four and a half seconds with Raid Finder, Normal, and Heroic difficulties. Um, reduced damage of Void Collapse on all difficulties. Um, so basically, they are pushing go to the end uh, of the of the game and kill these guys, and they're they're starting to nerf bosses and do stuff. So the edge we are getting stronger. They're actually nerfing bosses so that you guys are gonna for sure be able to down them. Um, void detainment's duration is now decreased from to six seconds on myth mythic difficulty, and Azeroth Radiance now restores 25 sanity. It was 20. Um, for Thought Harvester, it is harvest, uh, harvest Thoughts Shadow Damage is reduced by 10%, and Harvest Thoughts Sanity Drain is reduced to 300. It was 400, so they cut 100 off of that. And for a developer's note, they said they've seen extensive use of player immunities to avoid the consequences of certain raid mechanics. And while we want to allow player utility to function wherever possible, we wary or were wary when specific class compositions feel required. The changes of both Raid N and Enzoth are intended to make a wider range of Raid compositions feel viable on Method Difficulty. So instead of being forced to absolutely have to run certain classes to be able to down certain bosses, they're opening this up so that more people that play or only have one or two classes are able to down these guys on, you know, the hardest of difficulties. And then it says, with regional read starts, Mind Grasp can no longer be interrupted by a priest's cosmic ripple talent. So, no more kicks for a priestie from their talent. And items and rewards. Now, they have put some stuff that's in here and taken some stuff that's out. It says, the currency limit of Colsing Visions has been removed. So, there's no more limit. You're going to have as many of these guys as you want. Developers note. Especially since the removal of the unique cap on vessels, we've seen a lot of feedback about the inventory clutter of multiple vessels. By re removing the cap on Colsing Visions, players should now feel free to buy vessels from Raytheon as needed 
rather than stockpiling them in bags. And the cash of the Black Empire will now reward 12,500 Colsing Visions instead of a vessel of horrific visions and 2,500 Colsing Visions. So instead of, you would have two or three or four of these things if you were saving them to, you know, run a bunch of visions at one time. Instead of having, you know, stuff all stockpiled in your backpack, there's, it just goes into your inventory tab that's on your character and it's stored up in there and you don't even have to put anything in your bag anymore so thank you blizzard for doing something that you probably should have done in the first place hopefully you'll do all that stuff with shadowlands and now getting back into this it says memory cube can now only be used in non-instanced areas and another hot fix is whatever this is <laughs> Fixed an issue that sometimes prevented Manifesto of Madness on use effect from working in Mythic and Mythic Keystone dungeon difficulties. Uh, oh. Corrupted items, Twilight Devastation's effectiveness has been reduced in situations where it strikes more than five targets. It has been changed as follows. It now deals normal damage up to five targets. And then it deals 50% re reduced damage to targets six through 10. It shrinks in radius each time it damages a target above five, causing it to disappear after hitting 10 targets so it used to be man especially on my demon hunter i have a level or a tier three twilight devastation ring and this thing would go off and it would go through a pack of ads and it would kill every single friggin' ad that was in there and i'd be doing 700,000 dps now this is gonna make it be nerfed a little bit without actually having to nerf the damage on this so that, that that's a good way to actually affect the effectiveness of something without actually affecting the effectiveness of something so this is a good way to actually nerf something in the game i think that they're starting to get it folks uh heart of azeroth the formless void rank three essence minor power should no longer break rogues out of stealth so if you were getting rogies out should no longer be able to do that and then they corrected an issue with memory of lucid dreams essence where frost mages that were using glacial spike and an instant cast of flurry could sometimes be their icicle buff count and visual display would not match so they've fixed something that's in there with a the little uh, frosty mages and their glacial spike and their icicle counts uh moving into uh, pvp there's only one thing that they've done in this note from the previous week's patch notes and this is to do with your heart of azeroth now they corrected an issue where vision of perfection the rank three minor powers effect was removed when entering an arena match so i guess you would go into an arena match and the minor power was it disabled or just all the way taken off and they patched that now so that uh your vop now uh on rank three i guess rank one and two it didn't affect it only on rank three so um if you have rank one or two and it's still affecting you leave a comment down below and then uh, we'll send uh, that over to world of warcraft ends uh, assaults now added a portal to exit the pools of power after defeating Vilrax in eternal veil of eternal blossoms so there's now a portal so that you can get out of there instead of having to fly or use a stone <laughs> Time walking, and I understand why they did this, and this probably should have been done two weeks ago, but it is what it is, and hey, it's all good. At least it was done now, and this is updated player health, damage, and healing scaling to compensate for Azurite essences and corruption, and here's the developer's note. It is time walking is meant to be largely gear agnostic. Follow, um, it's allowing players with different progression and even different levels to group together. We've generally added hidden modifiers to offset the power of special systems like in Legion's artifact weapons while still allowing them to function, but had not done so for recent Battle of Azeroth systems, causing large imbalances in power between endgame players with corruption and essences. So you'd have, you know, like rank three Twilight Devastation and that thing was going off in there and it wasn't scaled appropriately and yeah, you were effectively nuking time walking. It was pretty quick to run them, I and this is this is uh this is this is pretty good. So when there's time walking weeks, at least you actually feel like you are doing a time walking dungeon, and uh, you're not as strong as you were, and you're just deleting everything. And these are patch notes from the previous week right here. We've covered all that. If you guys want to see what these are, please click on the uh, little link that's around here. There's going to be a video that pops up somewhere, so just go ahead and click that. 
We are covering patch notes every week. If there are not patch notes for that week, there will be no patch notes that are recovered. These are the hot fixes that are for World of Warcraft patch 8.3 on March 2nd, 2020. I'm Lockout. Like, follow, subscribe. Peace. Yeah. yeah. Hey, won't you do a favor for me? Take your mouse and click the button, won't you subscribe to me? Lock out, combine with the content that you see. I'm visually stimulating your mind, one minute at a time. And YouTube is helping out on me with everything that you see. With everything that you see. Take your mouse and go with that button and click it, baby. Subscribe, Blackouts 2020. Let's go!